Hey, our Max fan quit working and it's been a real bummer. So I want to share how to replace the circuit board, but also what to do with the circuit board so it doesn't fail again for moisture. Well, one of the things that happens with Max fans is they get a lot of moisture in them and those uh, circuit boards and other boards are not protected and so a lot of times they fail and how they fail is you're gonna hear a lot of beeping and a lot of times it happens in the middle of the night and you're like oh my god what do I do to get this beeping to start to stop well one of the things you can do is go over to your converter pull the fuse so on this converter is gonna be the number three and I would pull that out and then put that back in and that actually might reset your max fan. If your max fan isn't working at all, you actually might want to just check the fuse to make sure that it hasn't blown. And in this case, you see the red light. Uh, so I know it's not the fuse or anything wrong with the motor as far as that, because that red light would have been on already. So our fuse is good, but if it's beeping, then you pull the fuse, put it back in and see if that resets the fan. All right, if pulling the fuse doesn't work to reset your max fan, then you could go ahead and turn your battery switch off and that may work. So turn your battery switch off and back on and see if that helps to reset your max fan. So in our case, neither pulling the fuse nor turning off the battery power worked for us. And now I want to replace the circuit board. And in order to replace the circuit board, I'm going to turn off the power to the fan because you don't want power while you're working on one of your appliances. I've gone ahead and turned off the battery power. You can also pull the fuse so that you don't have power going to this. And the next step is to take off the four Robertson screws that keep the, the trim or the bezel in place. All right, you can pull this bezel down, put it off to the side. All right, well, this is a good time to take off the screen and clean it. Get it out of the way. And you just move those tabs out of, off to the side. Uh, and then the next step will be to take out the four Phillips. Are oh, those Phillips? Yeah, four Phillips and the knob here. screws out so now I can pull this down and there is the circuit board right here and uh, I'm gonna cut some of the zip ties I'm holding these wires in place out Okay, if you need to, I would take photos because we have a red going to a black and a black going to a white. All right, so I just want to pull these apart and then I can pull these apart. Oops, this one wants to be difficult. So in this case, this connector wouldn't come apart. So it just stripped right off the wire, but I do have another connector that I can use. All right, next step is to take out the three Phillips screws here. And then we just pull that off. There is a, also this ribbon connector right here. And then the temperature sensor, let me just pull that out too. This is what that board looks like out of the Max fan. And thank you to our friend Johnny who gave us this stuff quite a while ago and we're finally getting around to using this. This is a Silcoat 
clear urethane coating for electrical and electronic uh, it's an electrical electronic insulator okay so I'm gonna spray this on this and it's gonna protect it from the moisture that builds up sometimes but one of the first things you want to do is cover up these pins right here because that's a connection point so I'm gonna put some tape on that and then you can also put some tape over these although they're not going to be used for anything so it's not super critical but these pins right here are definitely what you want to cover I'm just gonna spray a coat on here and a coat on the other side and let it dry and I'll probably put a few coats on here and that's all there is to it well now that we let this dry I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall go ahead and install the new one and one of the reasons I'm gonna install the new one and not just reuse the old one is that there is there has been a voltage issue with uh, people that use solar and uh, if you want more information, you can look on the escape forum. It's been uh, well documented. Uh, some people have added a voltage regulator to these, just a real small one that has helped. But uh, yeah, an over voltage issue has, has also uh, made these malfunction. So this is the new part and this has been worked up so that it doesn't have that issue supposedly. All right, so we're just gonna do everything in reverse. I'm gonna go ahead and hook this back up. Right way. Uh, this looks to be short sometimes. Ugh. Again, make sure those tight. And then I did get some new connectors because one of these was stuck on and I had to cut it off. And then they don't come with connectors. So our good friend Don from Don and John's RV Life had some of these Wagos. These are pretty cool. I'm going to get a bunch of these. So if you don't have a lot of electrical know-how or connection or tools, these Wagos are great because you just stick an end in when you're connecting and you stick the other end in and then just push down the tab. Wow, super easy. So that's exactly what we're gonna do next. Stick that in there. Just a little tug. This red end up here. That's your connection. All right, those are pretty slick. And same thing here. Oops, except you have to get the right end. And then it goes in here. Okay, this one comes with a new temperature monitor because these have a, a way of keeping this on to like we'll come on at 78 degrees but don't yeah this is glued in there so don't really want to replace it so I'm just gonna put this new one I put the old one back on the back side here all right so I have to put the ribbon back on here okay and then I can go ahead and put the temperature thing on but don't need to do that until I'm ready to install it but I guess I'll just go ahead all right, so we're gonna turn the battery on and make sure this works before we put this all back up there. Woohoo, it works, we have a fan again, and we have a spare. So uh, you just do everything in reverse at this point, so just put all the screws back up. I don't think you really need to watch me do all that, but we have definitely noticed uh, without the fan, uh, when we're in a, a more humid environment, that we definitely had more condensation inside. And now that we're in a climate that's pretty warm, it's uh, high 70s, low 80s during the day, having this fan is, would just be awesome. So yeah, we're super stoked to have our, our fan working again and to have really great connections. That'll be easy to pull on and pull off if you need to take care of this when it's beeping at night. 
So this will this fix will work if you have a circuit board and you don't want to replace it, but you want to prevent any issues from having in the future. So the problem with just pulling the fuse if you have beeping at night is that there's other uh, 12 volt things that are on there, and then that'll disable like your uh, your uh, temperature and a few other things. So having something that you can just, you know, you might at some point need to take off the bezel and just pull the connections on here to, to stop that beeping and allow some of the other 12 volt things to keep on working. So with that, thank you. Let us know if this video helped you. So give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll have more how-to videos on Thursdays.